Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanted to show you guys like how to do a 2D track with like tracking points inside Nuke. For this, I actually chose the footage from Action VFX. You can also download this for free. I also took some bullet holes, random stuff from Google. 2D track, I had those bullet holes in the shot. I'm gonna import all these footages. 2K, so it's pretty long footage, but we actually only need 86. So we have it till 86 bullet holes somewhere here. So to do a 2D track, we just bring in the tracker node, then connect it. So inside the tracker node, we don't actually have anything. So if you click add track, it's gonna bring a point here. We can do that, or we can hold control and all directly click it where we want. So it's gonna show a preview, like a zoomed in preview of where the point is. And then if you keep going, it's gonna show like the next frames one after the other. These two boxes, so this is the first box is actually the pattern which is gonna track. And then the second box is the area which it's gonna look for the pattern. If the footage is moving like really fast and moving like a lot, it's better to like increase the area of this because probably the next frame, it's gonna go here. So if we have it really close like this, it's gonna go out. So the track is gonna fail we need to make sure it comes inside this area so this box can detect it for the next frame so in this case this is good so once you keep the track point we have the tracking controls here this basically goes frame by frame and if you hit play it's gonna track the entire range we can do that but it's gonna fail for sure because she's coming in front yeah that's it we only have like two frames if you lose the track like this you can always go to the last frame where it's good hit the clear forward it just clears up everything and then you can also hit like clear backward probably we can again start it from nine but we need something for this range i don't think there's going to be any parallax on this we can hold control and drag this point so you get this yellow line so what this basically means is we're going to actually give it another pattern to track we're going to keep like the edge of this uh, tail light read this pattern now and then track the same point so we can actually do this but i don't want to do this because this itself is a good tracking point so i want to at least have like two tracking points so because of that i think we can just take something which is like close by here it's going to do it manually now it's going to keep changing we need to keep giving it like different samples i think we should be good back on ninth frame we're gonna again track it so let's play it it's better to like keep your eye on this you can always zoom in to this because basically stabilizes the point and shows you so you can see the track much more clearly i think that would be you know we can go okay so it's again broken here here we can change the sample again to like this end and let's do it again so i think that's gone too yeah. so this is our last frame so again we still need it for the last like 10 frames so i'm gonna keep switching the samples here when you have this yellow line uh, if you're gonna manually track it you should actually move this point and not this because this is going to change the the source of the sample like if you want to move the point accordingly so you need to move the point here the point is not here so that's pretty confusing do a different sample so i will i don't think i'll have any other way to track the daylight here so that is also gone now i'm gonna bring it here we're not gonna have any bullet holes like beyond this point i think we're good till 77. our first track is done in the same way i'm just gonna add another one the reason i'm doing like two of these is because if we have two we can also turn on rotation we don't really need scale for this for nuke to like calculate rotation it needs like two points but it always have like two points i think i'll just do it manually you can even do it with new like frame by frame but i'm just like comfortable doing it manually change the pattern here we just need it to like 77 so this edge okay so we're, we're again getting this here so i think we can just track directly so let's just bring it back here and then we can just manually track this point again i think we should come to the end 77 yeah, I think we're good. The track is done. Different people do it in different ways. This is how I do it. Here we see like TRS, so T is for translate, rotate, and scale. So you can actually tell Nuke like what info should be included in this track. So because we have two points, obviously we need translate. That is like the basic. And we also turn on the rotation for both the tracks. Scroll down here. So some people they actually export like a corner pin from this and then they use that. I don't really do any of this. Keep the tracker here, original tracker here. So this is only in the red channel. So I 
think yeah we don't have anything else so we need to shuffle this to bring like the red channel we bring the red to rgb and then also to the alpha let's just do a key here and it's basically taking the alpha then that gets copied then we pre it just for tutorial they should this is good so we have all these bullet holes here so let's just take a good frame here a frame like this let's say like 20 so i'm just gonna bring the scale down place it somewhere like here but let's just position all these first i'm just going to use this i don't think anything else good. okay let's just keep it like this for now copy the tracker i mean depending on the case some corner pin can work better if you're actually like you know replacing like monitor screens most of the cases this should be good i go to the tracker we go into transform and then we first set the reference frame to 20 so that it resets the translate rotate here we go here we click match move change the filter to simon because we're gonna bring motion blur so we set the motion blur to one and i keep this as centered we don't see not much motion blur in other places so we can always reduce the shutter usually you don't need to adjust this let's just turn off the motion blur for now and see like how it works i'm gonna play it backwards first and we can also do forward yeah i don't think it slides anywhere it's pretty good turn on the motion blur and see how it looks yeah that's pretty good so we need to record those light changes and like you know basically comb this bullet hole into the car we can introduce a little bit of blow into this we don't want to make it heavy just merge all this add just a single tracker node instead of copying it like three times without this grade no it's already like looking good but yeah this is just a basic thing when it comes to like tracking this is how much we need to do this middle this middle one is sliding the, the, the easiest way to like fix sliding is to basically just add a transform node and then basically adding like manual keyframes wherever it's sliding it just has to do with your with the way you see it the better eye you have the better mistakes you can find i don't think it'll be visible for the next frame or maybe just a half of it yeah so that's Pretty much how you do 2d tracking so in some cases where you actually have like parallax then you need to be mindful of the points especially when you reference it to a different area if there's parallax each thing is gonna move in different speeds in different way if you guys have, have any questions with this comment below I, i'll put the links of this footage and also the bullet hole if you guys want to try this out also check out my other new tutorials that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in another video till then it's manish thank you guys bye bye